Hey everybody, welcome back to a White Roots recap. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Praise be ho! Praise be ho! That's my, um, that's the jingle that, the, that's the song. Oh, okay. You don't like um, that? Um, no. <laughs> we just gonna keep shitting on each other's fucking <laughs> intro songs. What's wrong with Praise Be Ho? I think that's a great little John song. Because I feel like... No. <laughs> well, praise be, bitch! Praise... No. That's a little better. Praise be, motherfucker! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't feel like we get a good enough ho enough anymore. So I mm -hmm. figured I'd bring it back. That's fair. So this week's episode is called Together, and boy, does it live up to the name. Uh, and I know, shout out to all of you who say you don't watch the show and you watch it through us. Uh, I, I can see why, because if I didn't watch it here, I could be like, I, especially what happens this episode, it was very... And you know, you forget that this is a TV show. Baby. Because that was some very movie behavior. <laughs> Yo, because the cinematography of Miss Mama's in the bed in the hospital, I was like, ah, gorgeous, gorgeous production. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. let's. And then, uh... and then it turned into Tarantino real quick. <laughs> the face off at the end. Yeah. Okay. And the gun and the, yeah. All of that. All of that. It was very the violent Django. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh man. Um, so it starts. It starts with um, June. You know that's so June. Um, that's so offered <laughs> and mixed Luke. Um, you know, remember they got you know captured um, at the border of no man's land. Yes. Don't know who uh, captured them yet not yet honey but we find out and i and i knew this was gonna happen like mixed luke is freaking the fuck out he's being erratic and just flipping out and what's interesting in the like behind the scene on like the inside the episodes where they were talking about how in this moment people act on instincts and you can't really act on an instinct because therefore you're gonna get fucked up which is what happened you will die <laughs> yeah so, you know, June is like, nigga, shut up. <laughs> like, Stand up. She's like, for the love of God, would you please get a motherfucking grip and listen to what All I'm right. saying? All right. Um, June quickly picks up that it's not Gilead that, that got him. Because yeah. she was like, nah, these niggas use Lysol and, like, <laughs> and shit. She was like, you know, they don't really do chemicals like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Which is so interesting about, like, the little nuances of Gilead. About, like, the sins. The, um... Like, remember when they labeled the guy mm -hmm. um, Rapist. in the woods and she was like, that's not, that's not <laughs> something they would do. They do symbols. Which is, that is interesting. And the fact that they don't use no cleaner. That makes sense. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they went back to colonial times and shit. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. when the mebic dysentery and, the, and, and niggas was just dying abundantly from diarrhea and shit. <laughs> niggas was <laughs> dying from breathing. Right. right. <laughs> like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So... They get their pictures taken like on some mugshot tea, mm -hmm. or like, oh, you didn't watch Scandal, because oh, like on no. Scandal, there is a moment where um, Olivia Pope, Carrie Washington, she got um, kidnapped by um, fictional Al Qaeda. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so it was very similar where they took pictures and they were like having Carrie Washington like hold up a um a newspaper talking about help me and she had like this hair that gave her look like the ring but it was very similar to this situation yeah like, she's supposed to be like a i don't like black ladies with that wet hair <laughs> I, I mean I it's like carrie that. washington okay 
Live your it's, dreams. It's scandals. She, the whole movie is about her being in love with a white man and, who's and married to a white woman. You know how I feel. Listen, audience, if you don't know, if you've never heard me say this before, I'll say it again. I have seen about 12 minutes of scandal. And it's because my homegirl was at my house. She was sleeping on my couch. She was watching it. I came out and I seen her fucking this white man in this closet. And I was anti from here on out. Here to forth. Well, <clears throat> they still looking for a dasher for my order, by the way. And I'm really irritated about it because they don't want to give me a full refund if I cancel it. It seems like a scam. Yeah, you're tied. You're tied into them. It's like a phone contract. Until they tell you you can do it. That's mother. That's stupid. I'm gonna order on a different app. Anyway. That's fair. <laughs> so uh, back in Toronto, um, because they had to make it clear that they're back in Toronto, mm -hmm. which I. It's weird because it's like there's a faction of Gilead folks in Canada. They just let anybody do anything in Canada. Honestly, I don't. I don't understand. Um, in this scenario right yes um so serena is definitely getting treated like a handmaid oh baby okay first and foremost she has her own birthing suite now she knew she had an appointment and they was like oh yeah follow us down the hallway she's like i'm supposed to leave walks in birthing suite i said sign me up <laughs> <laughs> I have one of the bitches in my house. Okay. What you mean? Right. So yeah. she comes in and she has this whole birthing suite. I mean, down to everything that the doctor would need in an office or whatever. And this is strange because you're thinking to yourself at this time, why are the wheelers like, we already know how these people operate. But we're mm -hmm. like, why are the wheelers so invested in her birthing activities mm -hmm. and i picked up on this and i didn't want to say it out loud but when i was watching it i was like this feels really like a dingo's gonna eat your baby I, yeah like you know <laughs> i thought to myself i said they gonna steal that motherfucking baby and make her ass a mm -hmm. handmaid the way that they setting this shit up cinematographically i made that up so, <laughs> yes. so cinematically the way they setting this shit up i was like they gonna make her a handmaid but so then she gets to talking to the doctor and the doctor's like yeah you special wah 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 it's clear she's uncomfortable we see this discomfort with serena even more i mean she's been constipated the entire series let us not you know let's just call things things but she's Absolutely. progressively gotten more visibly uncomfortable to a, a point yes, where you're thanks. like, what is ha Yes, okay, like I ate so much cabbage. And so, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out what's going on with her. The doctor, after he gets done inspecting her and shit, is like, so we know you're special. We're really excited to have you here. And uh, you wanna go to dinner with me? That's, and mind you, don't ask me, first of all, I can't imagine, that's a multi-layered thing, right? Don't There's one thing as a woman <laughs> dating a, a gynecologist in general, right? That's one thing. Number two, then there's dating your gynecologist. Number three. Then there are these weirdos that I am stuck here with who have made this connection mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and these weirdos insisted that this guy know ask her out fucking <laughs> after strange. talking to her about um booty massages because the baby is about to rip her tain up open you oh listen did i ever tell you about how the birthing video i had to watch Everybody had to watch the birthing video. Did I ever tell you about the time that I gave birth? <laughs> yeah. Check me. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> you win. You're like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you got it. You got it. 
but it's very uncomfortable it's very conflict of interest you just just inspecting my secret garden and now all of a sudden you will ask me out to dinner you strange ass nigga do not so she's clearly uncomfortable and she's like that's an interesting proposal i'm going to have to think on that like, what the f but you could tell her all over her she's like what the fuck are y'all mm -hmm. on so yeah meanwhile back in Gilead. no the the rest of this episode is although this whole episode the whole series is triggering but for trigger's sake and for yeah. all of that strong trigger warning yeah um bitch <laughs> i don't know how else to say this that nigga raped esther yeah and, and she pregnant and and the thing about it is, see, this is where I was looking at. I said, uh oh, Lydia Tubman finna come in full effect, nigga, cause mm -hmm. Lydia Lydia goes to the hospital and the doctor stops her and she's like, What's up with Esther's surgery being postponed or whatever? And he's like, Oh, well, it's because of a good thing. She's she's pregnant. He's like, I didn't know she got placed. And Lydia's thinking to herself, she didn't. She did it. Now, remember back a couple episodes ago when, um, what's his face? When Fred died. Putnam. And they had his mm -hmm. funeral and all of that. Putnam put that chocolate in her mouth. That's when she poisoned Janine and herself and all of that. That's when it went down. And the doctor told Lydia that she was three weeks pregnant. So Lydia's like, okay, like, let me just go have a little chat ski with her. So she goes in and she... This this also, remember we've been like kind of toggling back and forth with Lydia's, like her personality and her place, like what she really feels and believes. I It, mm. it goes back to my, I feel like she really thinks this shit <clears throat> is legit. And like she recognizes where it's at, but it's to a fault. You know what I'm saying? Obviously. Yeah. Like, whereas Commander Get Out knows Gilead is some bullshit. He's using this for whatever reason that we're going to hopefully find out. If y'all don't reveal what this nigga's motives are, and, like, if y'all don't, give me more. But, anyway, same with C Commander Spicy White. Like, get, unless you're just saying he's weak and powerless, and this is his best way of being able to obtain and hold some power. But anyway, I digress. So Lydia goes in there and she's like, so you can be honest with me. There ain't no shame. Like, let me know what's going on. But then she, you know, she fucks it up and says, now, did you even unwittingly, what did you, what did you do to seduce this man? Like, is there anything that you might've even done to make him? And, she, and Esther was like, girl, no. He raped me like that's what that on that we're not gonna we're not gonna put rose colored glasses on this shit anymore i don't give a fuck where we live and you can tell all mm -hmm. lydia's face that she knew it to be true she knew mm -hmm. that's what happened um and then and go ahead she she exclaims that that's terrible and that's the first time that uh she's ever kind of recognized and condemned an act of a commander <laughs> yeah <clears throat> Yeah. And, um, you know, Esther is losing it and is like, fuck you, Lydia. You know what goes on here. You just kept, you've been turning a blind eye because you feel as though that this is divine happenstance and things are supposed to happen. But, bitch, you know. You know what's what. Your girls aren't safe. Like, quit playing with me. And, quit playing with me. And then Lydia is, and Lydia is just kind of reckoning with this all, like, Bitch, what have I done? You know what you did, but and you still think this shit is like... You still think this shit is legit. Right. Now, this is the part of the the show where it affirms my ideas about how white people want to be oppressed so bad. <laughs> because Lydia goes to, to Commander Get Out and is like, I want Gilead reform. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> she said. If for whatever god awful reason you want more Jaden XD, make sure you subscribe to us on Patreon.